women are women are like sweet food and men are like savory food you know like i can live with women in the say for a couple of days in a hotel room right like if i live in a content house i can live in a female content house for like a couple of days or whatever but the thing is like if all you eat is cake for three days you start to feel sick but at the same time there's cravings you can't go a certain amount of time without tasting something sweet you know and there's also there's a third thing which is like spiciness right and spiciness is excitement. And there's a handful of sweet things that have spice to them, but there's way more savory things that have spice to them. And it's weird that there's only two, like it's it, there's only two sweet and savory, right? There's only two sides of this coin. And it's interesting how there's also only two genders. <laughs> but if you look at this third attribute of spiciness, which is not really a taste, right? Um, and all the other tastes sort of make up these two sweet and savory, but if you apply spiciness to the mix as well, there's a lot of like, mm, things can get too spicy, right? Like it can be, it can be painful. It can be dangerous. Uh, and it can get very dangerous very, very quickly. It's not like the other things where it's like, it takes a lot of sweet to get to, for things to be too sweet. No, nah, it doesn't take much spiciness for things to be too spicy. And I'm from India. And so I have a spice tolerance as well. And even still for me, so I would know what I'm talking about here. But in that same way, you can look at it like, yeah, you can go on exciting adventures with females. But really, how often does one come around who's really down for an adventure like that? You know, I'm not talking about sex like at all. Like I don't even I don't even have sex anymore. I probably won't have sex like maybe even more than once a year at this point.